Hey Tony, um, first of all, welcome to Philadelphia. When did you kind of get the sense that you were going to be moving on and when did Philadelphia kind of enter the picture for you? We were able to start negotiating with other teams. Things were coming in, but uh, the Flyers were one of the teams that were interested and obviously very mutual interest on our side. So we were able to get something done. And from my end, it seemed like it was pretty quick and uh, we were happy to get it done. There's only one way to think at the beginning of the season. We're getting ready to start. It's a whole new season. I can give a crap what happened here last year. It means nothing to me. We're here now. We got new guys in, and we're looking to uh, we're looking to do as best as we can. So, if it ain't the playoffs to me, it's a failed season, and that's the way I uh, that's the way I think we all need to look at it. You know, I got to sign here and be here. I'm hoping to never leave again. I'm hoping this is where I you know am starting now, and, and then when I retire, hopefully the next time I'm done playing for the Flyers. So it's. Uh, the dream come true, I'm just looking to take it all in. and It really doesn't even feel real yet. You know, being at the practice ring and stuff is great. You know, wearing the jersey feels cool, but until we get out there for the, uh, for the first night in front of the home fans, it's not gonna feel real. Probably said this before, I'm, just, I'm sure people have heard me say it, but uh, I'd be yelling in my room, yelling at the TV, and I'd stay up, try to sneak up late past, you know, bedtime on a school night if they were playing in Calgary or Vancouver, you know, 10 o'clock games, and trying to sneak TV on, I'd watch it on mute you know, to make sure I could, could catch the game. My parents have to make me shut my TV off. I only like the Flyers, I hate everybody else. A ton of Flyer memories, and I used to go to school every day in Flyer t-shirts and sweatpants and hats and stuff, so it was, it was always Flyer for me. There's no pressure. My pressure, I only put it on myself the way I believe I could play. You go out and just play the game hard, and you pick up for each other as teammates, and you, and you represent the, you know, the Flyers logo in a way that the city would be proud of. That's what a Flyer represents, just blue collar player that, you know, does it all. I think that to me, that's the way I grew up. I'm going to do a good job of that this year, and I think the fans will appreciate the way the way we're going to start trending and kind of getting back to that style of play. I'll do three laps. I'm good for at least five. You honestly feel like you know a lot of guys just from playing against them, like you know Lawton and Connecting are guys I kind of battled with when we played the Flyers after all these years, and uh, now you just walk in like you kind of just know them. How many guys are going to come after your bucket with your turn for this year? Oh, wow. We were laughing, TK and I, about it because we really go after each other a lot. But it was funny because um, Hazy and I have been so close since we played in New York together, and Hazy told me how good of a guy TK was, and he told TK how good of a guy I was, you know, in his opinion. So we kind of started to back off each other a little bit from there. Yeah, yeah. You know, all that stuff goes out the window pretty quick. And now, just the way I was having my old teammates back, yeah, yeah. going after these guys, it's going to change like this. And now I'm on their side, and, and we're going to be doing it together. Tough week in the life. Yeah. Hey, TK, keep getting wider. Hey, was there taking a rush? You like pinching off? It was really good that all the guys came in early. I think it's it's important for a team, especially with some new faces and a new coach and you know, different expectations that are, you know, from the past couple of years here that uh, everybody's here getting to know each other. I feel like when we're going to start in October, it's going to be just right into the season where uh, some teams will be, guys will still be getting to know each other. So I was happy about that by really the end of August, almost our whole entire team was here. So that's been real good. So I, I guys, I don't want to get caught up in, in, uh, and all that, all the noise around us, uh, I think that's a really important note for us as we start camp when we get going here, is block out the noise. And let's make a difference. Let, let's try to turn the noise around uh, the, the, in the proper direction by how we go about our business. You, you go out and just play the game hard. And you pick up for each other as teammates and you, and you represent the, you know, the Flyers logo in a way that the city would be proud of. And I think that's, um, that's something that Torch is really gonna implement on our team. I think he represents a, a flyer perfectly as a coach. You can't beat a guy that wants to win. You know, every coach wants to win, but he shows it in a little bit different of a way, which is no big deal. I show it in a different way than most guys do. It's passionate because we want to win, right? We're not doing it for ourselves. We want to win. We want to be the best at what we're doing. And he wants his team to be the best. 
for a team in our position and, and what we're looking to prove to people, I think that's the way everybody needs to be. You know, you don't all need to show it, but I think everybody needs to have that kind of swagger and personality that we're not going to worry about what anybody's saying about our team or where we're headed. We're just going to do it on our own. For a couple of years, I started off here and then I played in, in Trenton for, for five years and then went and played junior. But my brother grew up here. We all, we all started skating here and they redid it now. It's real, you know, they turned into a real nice rink, but we all grew up here. I was a Hollywood Hurricane, then a Little Flyer, and then a Mercer Chief. Yeah. Where's he play? Uh, Jerf. Who? Jerf. Jerf? Yeah, Speak home. English to me. Everyone says Jerf. Jerf. We just called them the Junior Flyers when I was growing up. Not Jerf. Young guys, young guys these days. You're going all the way around. One, two, three. Three each side, no shot. Warm it up twice a piece like this. Ready? It's not a race. Eyes up, eyes up. Eyes up. Those eyes up. So I've had this group actually, I started, I did a camp like three or four years ago and one of the parents asked if I could do uh, private lessons with their son after and it kind of started with one kid, two kids, and then it started building up throughout. Now I've been here and I've been working with them for like, uh, this is summer number four now, so kind of got to know a lot about the kids and a lot about the families. I enjoy working with them, so we kind of try to do it once, twice, three times a week if we can, so it's been a lot of fun. Cody, the Flyers are scouting you today. Only you they came for. Now, Brady's gonna go to the Devils. You wanna pull here? And then pull and fire. Pull and push. That's it, fire. Nice shot, Brown A, yeah boy. I have a totally different personality when I'm coaching these guys. I try to teach more than when I do on the ice, but I try to kind of teach them the same way of what I do on the ice. Not, uh, you know, I tell them you don't want to go over the line, but I think that there's a way to get to play the game of hockey that needs to be taught. And I think the younger generation is a little bit, a uh, little bit different than maybe than my group was. So. I try to teach these guys some of that stuff, and, and they're all really good kids, and, and they mess around out there, but I want to teach them to play to play hard and play tough and play nasty as well. So I think it's, uh, I tell their parents beforehand too, that's what I'm going to teach them, so I try to do, you know, do it the right way, but I think it's a big part of it as well. You guys hate skating, huh? That sucks, because the last 15 minutes they were bad skating. Uh, no, we're not. Every pass that's bad, it's not a good pass for the guy to shoot, is going to be a half a lap. All right, quarter. Quarter of a lap. Could add up quicker. We got 10 guys. There's a quarter. Catch and release. What are you celebrating about? <laughs> catch. You know what catch and release means? <laughs> yeah. Not, not stick handle eight times. Like that. That's catch and release there. Yeah. You're, so, you're cheering down there. I mean, it's fun. I mean, I'm tough on them sometimes too, but I like them a lot. They have a lot of fun out there. So we're just trying to get better. It's a lot of stuff that I'm still working on now that I'm working on them with. So I feel like if they can start learning at this young of an age, it's gonna help them as they get older and older. But uh, it's a lot of fun working with them and I keep in touch with their parents throughout the season, see how they're doing. So we got some guys, some of my older guys that have done now started to get some scholarships D1. So it's been fun watching them, uh, you know, watching them grow. I've had some of these guys from when they were from eight, nine years old. Now they're 13, 14, so it's pretty cool. My definition of a flyer is kind of like, you know, the old days of what a flyer was, like a Bobby Clark and, and a Rick Tockett and a, a Rod Brindamore, those kind of guys that play the game hard. They play the game, you know, with passion and they can do everything, kind of. They can score, they can fight, power play, penalty kill. To me, that's what, uh, that's what a flyer represents. It's fresh beginning. I would throw whatever happened in the last year, a year and a half even, if you want to call it, I would throw it out the window and then see what this team's going to be like. To me, the personal stuff goes to the side. We're gonna have a hard working team. There's only one goal. Are we gonna win the Stanley Cup? I don't know. But we won't get pushed around, that's for sure. 